Good morning. You'll notice that I'm not at a prison. I'm at Spokane Community College. And that's because this part of the story is about what happens after you leave behind bars. De uh, excuse me, data from the Department of Justice shows that prison education programs can reduce recidivism by up to 43% and thereby pay for themselves. Aaron Miller is working really hard to make sure he's on the right side of that statistic. It was just two months ago that Aaron Miller graduated from Spokane Community College. He's not done with school though. He's headed to Eastern Washington University this fall to follow his newfound passion. What do you think about mechanical engineering makes it so attractive to you? Just making things work um, in a more efficient way, in a cleaner way. Uh, anything that I can do to improve on a machine to make it work better or faster, it just floats my boat, I don't know, I like doing it. To take on the subject field in school takes a lot of dedication, and it also takes a love of learning. At 29 years old, Miller now feels he has that. But if you had asked a younger Miller, he would have had a much different answer. I, I got into drugs pretty bad when I was younger, and I didn't finish high school, and I kind of lived that life for a few years of working jobs and losing them, and it kind of developed into a life of crime as kind of the natural course of things in that lifestyle, and uh, I ended up with a prison term of, uh, you know, 60 months. But while I was there, uh, I was given enough time and the opportunity to get a taste for education. Miller left prison as a graduate of a welding program, but while searching for a job within that field, a billboard for SCC inspired him to apply, despite not knowing how someone with his track record would be received. I got into here, I was completely honest about my story, uh, right from the get-go with um, you know, admissions and registration. I just said, look, I don't know what I'm doing, I just got out of prison, um, what can you do to help me? And uh, I was received with open arms, so. Education is probably the single greatest factor on helping someone not go back to prison. This is Kevin House. He's the Associate Dean of Corrections Education for SCC. He also has almost 40 years of experience in law enforcement, which gives him a unique perspective on crime and recidivism. Many of these guys like Aaron go to prison, they don't have any education, no, no high school education, no formal education. So what we do is we get the high school education requirement out of the way, and then if they want to continue that, we have classes that they can take to continue that program. After going through class, they uh, get excited about the education, they want to do more education, and then of course they look forward to employment afterwards. If someone who's in a similar situation to you is watching, mm -hmm. what would you tell them about getting an education and you know using that to turn your life around? It shows people that you're maybe not the same person that's on paper when they look at a criminal record. Doing crime not only is like monetarily a negative to society, but cost of incarceration, legal fees. If you can turn that around and educate somebody uh, and utilize an education, you remove a negative and you add a positive to the community. And I mean, it's a win-win. It's a I am not the same person I once was. We received a lot of comments and questions on social media as well about payment of education for former inmates. So. In prison, inmates have the opportunity to take some courses and pursue a GED, but Spokane Community College tells me that after release, inmates, former inmates I should say, apply for school and financial aid just like any other student might. Brianna? Thank you, Rob.